hello everyone hope you all doing well welcome back to our channel and in this video i'm going to talk about microsoft defender application guard enterprise mode and how exactly it works so if you're watching the series from the beginning in the last video i have shown you all the configuration that has to be done in this video we are going to see what exactly happens when you apply the gpu to the machine that we have created in our last video how many times the machine has to restart checking all the use case that we have configured for example copy pasting and making sure the data which has been downloaded in the isolated or virtualized instance should remain separate from os and lastly we'll talk about the event logs okay so now let's begin by focusing on the last three steps of our workflow which is testing behaviors okay so this is my machine where I will be making sure all the configuration works as I have shown you in the first video and the name of this machine is Windows 10 Docker. Now just FYI this machine is also onboarded to MDE and as you can see the sense service on this machine is running. Okay. Now if I talk about this particular machine it is a domain joined machine because we are testing all the configuration with the help of group policy object. So as of now, this machine has been joined to conceptswork.com. Okay. Now the next thing is to make you understand how the group policy object is linked to a specific OU. So this was the group policy object that I was showcasing in my last video and Office 365 is the OU where exactly it has been linked. Okay. So let's say if I open my AD. As of now, in Office 365, there is only one machine, which is MDAG, the first machine which I have used to showcase all the capabilities. And this is the particular machine which we will be moving to Office 365 to make sure everything works as expected. Okay, so this is my client machine and I'll here go to control panel and see what is the current state for Microsoft Defender Application Guard. If you guys can see, it is not installed yet because the group policy object is not applied as well as we don't have to install it manually okay now if i go to edge you can see the option for virtualized instance is also not coming and the reason is obvious because microsoft defender application guard is not installed on this particular machine altogether okay now i'll come back to my server and i'm going to move this object to office 365 ou just to make sure all the settings of Microsoft Defender Application Guard as well as installation instructions reach my machine. Now when I say installation instructions, it's the same sample script which I have shown you in my last video, which is going to trigger the installation on the machine itself. Okay. Now on this particular machine, again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run GP update space forward slash force just to make sure that once we moved the object, all the required settings should reach to this particular machine altogether. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and launch command prompt again. And this time I'm going to check the set of policies which are currently applied to this particular machine. Okay. Now GP results space forward slash V will show you all the policies which are getting applied. And if I'll scroll up, I must get windows defender application guard listed over here. And as you can see, the policy which is responsible for installation and configuration has reached this particular machine. Now this aspect is very much specifically related to group policy object or basically troubleshooting group policy object. So what I can do is I can go to application and service logs and then I can go to Microsoft Windows and then there will be one more folder named as group policy. Okay. Now this folder will let me know whether all the required settings have reached a specific machine or not or if there are any issues what what exactly is happening with the group policy object can be evaluated from this particular folder altogether and as you can see event id 4016 is listing down the settings which are related to my group policy object the first one is the installation of scripts in the startup itself okay so now since Installation of Microsoft Defender Application Guard requires a restart. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and restart my machine. And once it is restarted, I'll resume. As you can see now, my machine is restarted and I'll launch Edge. And as you can see, I'm getting this particular option of new Defender Application Guard window and that to 
isolated instances and if i try to access all the urls which is basically my circle of trust everything is going to work as expected right but if i try to access any url which is not in my circle of trust hypothetically again which is oracle.com you can see a virtualized instance is getting initiated and then every controls uh, that we have defined are going to work as expected which means copying and restricting let's say image copying saving documents okay so this is the link which i've also used in my first video wherein i'll try to download this document and then see if the data remains isolated from the host os or not okay so as you can see i've tried copying that file and this has been kept separate from the os and it is again opening in the virtualized instance of edge itself okay so this was one of the use case let me see if i can show you the one which is moreover related to copying image okay so this machine doesn't have windows word no issues i can show you this with the help of ms paint itself so if i'll come back to oracle.com and try to copy this image okay this is not an image so let me scroll down or let me show you first uh, the ability to copy text i mean this should work as per our policy so i'll copy this text and i'll open a notepad let's say in this case and let's just see whether this copying is available or not perfect it's working as expected now let's try to copy the image and come back to ms paint and as you can see it is getting blocked so all the settings that we have defined in our group policy object are working as expected okay so this is how the end-to-end -end workflow works now let's talk about the events wadg service is something wherein the logs will be populated if the service is running and configured the other one is csp wherein if you are controlling the settings from intune and emecm and then gp is the one that you can refer for gpo settings okay but there is one more folder called wad managed which will also give you some set of information that might be required for you to perform troubleshooting depending upon your use case okay so i'll come back to event viewer and i'll go to application and service logs and i'll expand this particular section then i'll go to microsoft and then i'll go to windows and here there will be folders like wad g service policy evaluator csp and policy evaluator gp now as i said before depending upon uh you know the issue that you're trying to troubleshoot you can actually go ahead and look the information or check for information to be very precise on these particular folders altogether and this will this is a kind of a method that you can follow basically just to troubleshoot that's that's the whole intent behind knowing about what kind of information might be available okay so even though everything is working for me you can see there are certain errors that i'm getting uh you know for microsoft defender application guard at times these logs are even too noisy so be very specific about what kind of information you are looking for and which folder you have to go ahead and check for that the last aspect is moreover related to verifying the registry itself i'm sorry it's regedit.exe okay i'm opening registry editor and if i'll go to local machine and if i'll go to the same folder of hbsi you will see one additional registry getting created over here which is to block the download or which is to keep the files which are downloaded from virtualized instance separate as compared to that of your host os itself okay so this is the registry which is actually responsible for that particular feature altogether okay so this was all about knowing how exactly the gpo process works what exactly happens on the client your machine has to be restarted twice to make it work and then how you can check the event logs so in the next video we are going to talk about how to enable microsoft defender application guard in enterprise mode but this time with the help of microsoft endpoint manager so now if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new please feel free to subscribe and if possible join our support membership thank you so much thanks for your time have a great day ahead Bye bye